This is State History Day. Congratulations. Your selection as a state finalist for Minnesota History Day gives you the chance to participate in one of the largest History Day events in the nation. This video will help you get ready to make the most of your day at state. The State History Day event takes place at the University of Minnesota. Every spring, the campus comes alive as over 1,200 students arrive to present their exhibits, documentaries, performances, websites, and research papers. You will start your day at Kaufman Memorial Union, the headquarters for the event. The staff at the registration table will confirm your judging time and location. All exhibits will be set up in Kaufman Union while other categories may be in Kaufman or other nearby buildings. The first round of judging is action-packed, so make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get ready to meet your judges. If you have any questions, a bowling-shirted History Day staff member is always ready to help. Once you are finished with your interview, you are free to get lunch or enjoy other free time activities on campus. Goldie's Game Room offers low-cost bowling, pool, and video games in the basement of Kaufman Union. Students, parents, and teachers will also receive discounts at the U of M bookstore. History Day t-shirts and souvenirs will also be on sale in Kaufman Union. After lunch, Performance and documentary students will find out if they will be called back to present in the runoff rounds of judging. Pay attention to the posting areas and make sure that your process papers, props, and equipment are ready to go if you make the finals. Exhibit students don't participate in the final round of judging. Just make sure that you leave process papers with your project before the room is closed. A list of exhibit finalists will be posted later in the afternoon, but under no circumstances will students, teachers, or parents be allowed to enter the exhibit rooms until all final judging is completed. When final judging wraps up, it's time to head for the awards ceremony. Goldie Gopher will help get things started as we wait for the final awards book to arrive. All teachers will be presented with special gifts, and a few of them will receive recognition or travel awards. Students will be recognized with several kinds of awards. High school juniors are eligible for U of M scholarships. Topical prize awards will be presented to outstanding entries in specific areas of study. Finally, first through fifth place will be awarded in every category, along with honorable mention medals for every student who made it to the final round of judging. First and second place students will be eligible to represent Minnesota at the National History Day competition near Washington, D.C. Complete contest information and the full event schedule can be found on the Minnesota History Day website. In the end, your success at State History Day will be measured more by the knowledge you have shared with others than any medal you may win. Thank you for all of your hard work, and we look forward to seeing you at State. <laughs>